They gave an award for King of Prosecutors. <laughs> what a farce. So she's saying... There was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this, um, evil? Young miss. I'm talking to myself. I'm really talking to myself. I'm looking at your own wrist. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough of queen. No! The most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they aborted yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. She, she keeps, keeps talking about food, I'm gonna kill her. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but this looks pretty good. <laughs> One thing's clear. This lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. And what is, was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana Sky wield that knife so. Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of the silvery ties to this world's being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. So dramatic as well. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Oh. Wait, you know Lana Sky? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. It's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. <laughs> How many lunch boxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. And when would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Mm, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East. For some reason, the box lunches are here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Did you say something? No. Only true connoisseurs can understand- Oh my god! <laughs> the kind you can only tell someone who has tried General So's Trilobite lunch set. Mm. Smack. You win. I'm kind of curious, but I know I shouldn't. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? That glass booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. So, you're here to sell lunches, and then, he just there. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. That was... Why bother? <laughs> Not. That's funny. 
Did you have any bad experiences with prosecutors, Miss Star? I sent some hostility. Hostility? <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike. And the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten day old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble before. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning. Scientifically, of course. I mean, now you're talking cough up queen. I thought you were just a lunch render, but now I don't know what to think. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh my god! It's Edgeworth's room! Doo -doo. Damn, my office fresh as hell, boy. This is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. <laughs> Thanks. Look, look! There's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What is that? Takes some real nerve to display stuff like this. Whose ever office this is, they must be a real stuck up jerk. Well, they used to. Oh, hey, baby. Here we <laughs> Let's go. get it on! You know you could have called first, or you should have called first. I'd have been in here. I'm disappointed. You never invited me here. Mm. Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Edgeworth? Oh, you know him too. Of course. I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once, and... Right. Your sister's one of the five chief prosecutors. Well, what brings you here with this... screaming girl? Uh, and I'll warn you, little lady, uh, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk, if you know what I mean. No! Did I? <laughs> no! It, it was just Mr. Right here, he, um... No, he knows I didn't say that. We're just trying to investigate a murder case. Murder. Murder. A body was found in this nasty bright red sports car in the parking lot. That would be my car. What of it? Jay! Your car? Wow. She screams so loud, it breaks her mic. Oh, oops. Oh, if you were screaming, we couldn't hear it at all. So, the body was found in your car. Go ahead and say it, baby. I know you think I did it. After all that trouble you went through to help me last year, no less. Oh, you don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Oh, wait, no, she didn't do that. Wait, uh, um... Wait. Allegedly, um... So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, uh, Emma Sky. It's nice to meet you again. That didn't sound forced at all. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, now I remember. You've really gotten older. I'll admit, it was a prize for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. I love that car. I love that car almost as much as I love you, Phoenix. Uh, more surprisingly still, I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt, which is some bullshit. I can understand. Wait, what? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. Hello? Mr. Edgeworth? 
to be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? You don't think they're true, do you, baby? My own situation. Yeah, there's a lot of rumors. <laughs> And I've got to admit, he did a lot of it. Hey, chill. <laughs> That's your line, yes, sir. Oh, thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. Thank you, baby. However, there's some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. Bunch of haters. Wait, huh? It's just your card. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. That's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. What? Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? But that's a shield. Chief Prosecutor Sky, yes. We worked together on a case about two years ago. It was my first big case. No. Melanie. She muted, she might have walked away from it. <clears throat> uh, you hate well, to see I guess it. I'll take over for a second. You hate to see it. That's right, I remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. What was I? It's then. I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the war warmest person. Bully. There you are. Go ahead. Blog. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Kind of then why? Why did she stab somebody and put them in the trunk of my damn car? Not only that, sure she stabbed him with my knife. Looks like she was trying to set me up for some shit, man. Mr. Edgeworth, your, your knife was a murder weapon. He's having a hard time. To be specific, it was the knife I keep in my in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. You never know. Ah, oh, right. The murder two lines. Yeah, even the knife is burgundy. You like that handle? So, Edward. What's that? Just to get on the record, you didn't do it, right? Any time now. <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. <clears throat> I was gonna do that thing with uh, my tongue that you like so much. Not so much anymore, Phoenix. That was a low blow. I've been wondering, what is that? It has a big K on it. Of prosecutors. What's that, my prosecutor? It's the King of Prosecutors trophy. King of Prosecutors? Oh shit. It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor every year. What? So? <laughs> so the K stands for... K stands for King? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I am a goddamn king. <laughs> He's all getting defensive. I didn't baby. design it. I would have made the cave bigger. I didn't design it. King of prosecutors, kind of like employee of the month, only better. Yeah. Or king of fighters. Vibes. Vibes. Yeah. Vibes. 
So basically, this is you were the best of the best last year, huh? Ah, uh, you can take that foolish grin elsewhere, baby. I know your sarcasm when I see it. <laughs> I lost a day of work to receive that motherfucking travesty of a trophy. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police? Oh shit, my bad. Yeah. Yeah, right next to the police station. You've been there, haven't you? With that bumbling idiot gumshoe. Where Detective Gumshoe works, yes. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh my god. Right. He doesn't seem too concerned about the award. Yesterday I was very busy at the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Could you tell me more about yesterday? The day of the murder. Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. You know, we like to keep our spots clean. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file law evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transfer. Oh, Wiping your hands with old cases, in other words. Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield. I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. You know me, baby. Very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth ourselves on a precision, Mr. Wright. No, I simply place a little faith in my memory, that's all. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. This is the parking stub from the underground lot. And they print your whole name on the parking stub. You goddamn right they did. So the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate if you direct that suspicious glare somewhere else. Uh, um! Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? <laughs> I'm Edgeworth. What is it? I'm here, sir! I'm the request of the chief, sir! I've got your report, sir! Report? <laughs> what? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? Answer me, worm. <laughs> this is a fun conversation. Uh, uh, Sky, sir? No, sir! No name of that kind, sir! Not even this report, sir! <clears throat> I can hear it. Blow a gasket. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? Oh, I made a it. clear request to the police department, did I not? No police, I need no to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. But sir! But, but, but sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement, sir! Give me a name. Uh, 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 yes, yes, sir. M -m 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 Meekings, sir. Officer Meekings. Right, Officer Meekins. Take your report and get the hell out of here. And good luck with that raise next month. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 sir, I, I didn't know. Poor guy. <laughs> you remind me of Gumshoe. Whoa. Baby. Hello. Hello.
know. <laughs> As you can see, I'm busy. You may leave now. I'll see you later, though. Oh, is it me? Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Thanks. He seems to forget about the jokes I made. Do you wanna do you wanna take a break? It's it's uh ten oh seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Bro, okay. Like, you have to pick up your yeah. brother though. Like aren't you leaving soon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's why I said we take a break here. Okay, cool. Yeah.